Ho ho, my hearties. A very good evening to you. Saturday evening, just coming up to 20 minutes past nine. A very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure live on TikTok just for you seeing Dinky Doo. Come and join us, of course. Lots and lots to talk about and so little time to do it in as per usual. So I hope you'll come and say your peace as quickly as possible or even forever hold on to your peace. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, hashtag float eye, the world's most humble man, the father of feminism, hashtag foff, and uh, all these other things. So come and join us. Colbo One has joined us. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us on a Saturday evening at 20 past nine in the evening. How fantastic is that? Lovely, lovely to be with you. And uh, who else have we got? Come and join us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Very much uh, the thing to be doing. I'm playing Apex. Oh, wow. Amazing. How do you do that? Uh, fantastic. It doesn't mean anything to me. But then again, you know, I could tell you things that might not mean anything to you. You know, that's the, the interesting thing about it. Do come and join us. There's Rangers FC1 has just joined us. Welcome, welcome. How are things today? What's happening with the footy? Not that we generally discuss footy on here, but we can always pay lip service to it, I say. I have, of course, got my trusty tea with me, which is wonderful, and my trusty water. Quite warm in the studio tonight, so there you go. Just letting you know. Tremendous. And uh, can I say hello to the gentleman at a fast food place tonight who said, I enjoy your radio thing. So there we are. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciated. Bunny change, Johnny by Johnny. Never a dull moment on here. A quick change of bonnet, and off we jolly well go. Dinky do, Scotty, when McClue's tick tocking, the whole world's rocking. Absolutely, shout out for wee Caitlin Shepherd, Scotty boy. All right, Jason, uh, there you are. Are your pronouns male? We never, ever, ever touch pronouns on here, Tess. We are all inclusive. All we need is your handle. There we go. It doesn't matter anything else about you. Not a problem. You press on. All right. So we don't do pronouns, I would say. There we are. I present as a Scottish bonnet. Hi, mate. I started horse riding again six years after I got on. I wasn't nervous. I was so relaxed. Well done, Adam. Scotty, Celtic are playing hearts. Are they playing them right now on the telly? There we are. Please can you do a flip? I know it's not for the faint-hearted folks. All right, unknown username. Are we ready? Whoa! Whoa! Whoo! The blood doesn't have to go to your head when you're doing that. Scotty for president. Scotty for hashtag POTUS. Yes, one all. One all, Glenn. That's the game. Are you watching it right now? Thoughts on Keir Starmer? I don't really have any thoughts on him, bless him. Watch the video of you on YouTube when you had a contagious sneeze during the radio show. Oh, unknown username. That was an absolute nightmare. I could not stop sneezing. There we are. Fantastic. And I was trying to make an excuse and I said, sorry, it's the dust in the studio. The place is filthy. And I was met in the morning by a very anxious and upset wee cleaner. And she said, I'm sure I cleaned the place. But I said, oh, lovey, don't give it a thought. It's nothing to do with that. Scottish Sheffield Wednesday play Huddersfield tomorrow. So we'll not be seeing too much of you then, Glenn. Fantastic. Are you a Huddersfield supporter? Was watching the women's netball last night, 15 minutes in, and there was a wrist injury. Had to go to A and E. Oh, painful. No, not good. You've got to watch the wrist. Uh, don't be too close to your radio, I say. We don't want anybody catching anything. The canteen shuts at 10, lovey. Soup. There's no soup here. I don't know. Scotty, are you a professional pro? I am a professional pro, yes. Uh, yes, a professional. Scotty, the kickoff is 1 p.m. at Hillsborough. Right, so no Scotty McClue live at 1 p.m. to South Yorkshire. Fantastic. Share the video as soon as you can. Guys, can we follow us? We're getting a wee bit lax with the following. We're just not bothering. So please, 
You must get sorted. The canteen reference was what you said to Susie Pussy. I know that. There we are. Where in Scotland are you, Scotty? On the West Coast, Jason. Hello, just back from the Botanic Gardens with wee Oliver. Oh, it'll be gorgeous tonight. Do you ever walk him along the Kelvin walkway towards um, what used to be, um, oh my goodness, Stevenson Memorial Church. It's something else now, I believe. What does dinky-doo mean? Danny Ray. Dinky-doo means it's all well with you and the world. Absolutely. Scotty boy, shout out to my girlfriend, Phoebe. I love her loose ball. No problem at all, Matty. Who manufactured the Spitfire, Scotty? Uh, was it not Supermarine? I think it was uh, It was Mitchell, R.J. Mitchell, that designed it. Died quite young, R.J. Mitchell. Uh, but uh, I think it was Supermarine that built the Spitfire. Am I right? And Hawkers did the hurricane. I know I'm just messing, lol. Scotty, can you tell us a joke? A joke? I don't really know many jokes. I was standing in the central station in Glasgow one day and I burst into tears and a transport policeman said I could arrest you. And I said, what for, for crying out loud? I threw away my old vacuum cleaner and I said, so see ya, sucker. <laughs> 64,000 question on millionaire. Okay, Johnny. <coughs> Yes, along the Calvin walkway often, and sometimes up to the Mary Hill locks. Wow, Gordon, up to the doors home. Uh, three virtually impaired, visually impaired mice. See how they run. Three visually impaired mice. Three visually impaired mice. See how they run. They all ran down an, an omnibus. The driver, he kicked up an awful fuss. They came out the other side, none the worse. Those three visually impaired mice. Uh, dear Sir Wong Mongoose, no, that's not it. Uh, where's the badge and your hat gone? Different hat, change of hat. There we are. The other hat got repoed. Hearts play tonight, says Angie. Right, Angie. We were at Dodd's home this afternoon. It's been done up a bit recently. Very nice. Has they not got the weir up there? Weir of Hermiston. God is coming for you. God is coming for us all. Bless him to take us to his bosom. Safe in the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Fantastic. Do come and join us as soon as you can, guys. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is big. Get sharing. Get following. There we are. What did you have for dinner, Scotty? Dinner was outstanding tonight. Outstanding tonight. Absolutely amazing. Good day to you, Sir McClure. Uh, my dad, Donald, was in the Queen's Own. Melody, I think he would have known my father, Big Archie. The Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Now, good evening all. Dinky do all. Every day. Is that a real hat? It looks like it might be computer generated. This, I'm not actually wearing a hat. This is a chroma keyed hat. That's got you sorted, hasn't it? My guess is you had a lattice slice with some chicken sauce, Scotty. No. I had a vegetarian lattice slice in a rich chicken sauce. Let's get this right. Scotty is as real as it gets, absolutely. God is with us already. Good one, Angela. Absolutely. Sorry, McClure. Geo, dog, dinky do. Where were you? We love having you on, by the way, and thank you for your wonderful knowledge. It really adds quality to the live stream. There's a lot of quality on here. <coughs> Francis has joined us, dinky do. Francis. Come and stay with us, you sample and stay. Never, ever scroll past Scotty McClue. If you miss a moment of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. How much good is that going to do you, I'd say? Has everybody followed? Right, get following, guys. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. Scotty talks like C.S. Lewis and looks like a farmer. Thanks so very much appreciated. Not at all, Geodoc. Are you a rugby fan? Haldi! 
What a question. Front row, tight head, prop down first. Boom! <laughs> there we go. You're watching live. Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. Foot high. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClure. Tap the plus sign top left. Follow, share, like, watch, dinky do. Tap the Instagram logo for Instagram and YouTube. Go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and tap the bell. There we are. A walk in the park. You shouldn't need these instructions. Rugby, I think Birmingham's bigger than rugby. Do you know rugby Midland? Don't forget to make a tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 sign. There we are. Absolutely. Oh, yes, we need that. Tell 10 plus, I would say. Right, Mamarov, Joseph's joined us. Creative has joined us. Welcome, welcome. You're all watching Scotty McClue. Never scroll past. That will be the rock everybody Perry's is on. Scrolling past Scotty McClue is only one away from trolling Scotty McClue. As Scotty is the random rapper, bro. Rap this morning. We must get that wee rap out for you. Fantastic. How was the coffee this morning, Mr. Scott? Well, we don't do the coffee at all. Uh, dank memes. There we go. We don't do them. Cracking, you are. You don't care, loved on the radio. <laughs> Paul Greg, cracking, you are. You don't care. Loved you on the radio. Fantastic. Sup, please. Oh, sup. General sup. General sup, everybody, while you're following. Paul Greg, thank you so much for following. A very switched on guy. Guys, followers are switched on people. Follow me. I'll give you a shout out. We've got to get the followers up. Is the apple cider vinegar or the tea? It's the tea tonight. I don't know if I can show you. There's a loose leaf out the bag. I'll just see if I can get this to you. Right, can you at all see that without me spilling it? Black tea. There we are. Can we see that, guys? We touch of the tea. There's a wee black tea ring at the bottom. So we're at the black tea. You must obey the Supreme Leader Nicola Sturgeon by what she said now. All right, dinky do favor, Dean. Paul fit like loon. Granty he you is the next day. Eh? I'm saying. This is fit alive, should be a boot. Ah, oh, of all. Listen, he'll tell you this. He used to go on radio wearing my bonnet and my humble doodies. Well, fit. Whoa, what was abody a boot then, eh? Oh, mon, mon, I'll tell you. But, uh, oh, now that's fine. You just said, uh, cockani, cockani. That's it. Can you do a line? Yes, I'll do you a line. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels, leashed in like hounds, should famine, sword, and fire crouch for employment. What do we think of that? Is that a line for you? There we are. Are you shooting me a line? Morning, the Duke of Dundee. Scotty, if you could have a meal with past or present people, which three people would you choose? Uh, Jesus, James Watt, the inventor of the condensing steam engine, and Glenn Melvin Peacock. What about that? Fantastic. For about so for about see you Nicky. What's going on here? Are you in the tune? Now I think you're about bonkery way. For about uh, oh Ken and you a boy. Oh talk about grand manofield. Oh man, man, man! I'm telling you, Scotty, what's your hat size? Uh, we're at the six and seven eighths. I think Geodog. We might be at a seven. I don't know. It's our hats international. Let's check a bonnet. See what's going on here. Oh, lightly sponge. I'm not seeing a size on here, you know. That's bad news, isn't it? 
It just says large on the bonnet. A large, a large bonnet. <laughs> Maybe I'm large. Hogs of Fife. Very, very, very fine shot. Tremendous. The old field pro. That's the bonnet. It's only lasted me 29 years and kept its shape. How amazing is that? Let's check the Glen Gary Geodog. Size 58. There we go. What about that? A size 58. I don't know what that means. Here's another one. Extra large. All wool. A bit battered that. I'll have to get that cleaned. Right, there we go. Fantastic stuff. Do you still believe women shouldn't be allowed in a certain part of the motorway? I can't remember. Outside lane. Outside lane. For more McClure reading, search Deliver Us From Evil on YouTube. Bless you, unknown. That is tremendous. Hey, good day, friends. Metal Clip. Scotty, I haven't seen you in ages. Livre. Livre. It's lovely to have you with us. Now, or live. It'll be live. Yes. Live. Fantastic. There we are, Livre. I was taking the first two letters of your second name. Mine would be Scotty McClure, Malcolm X, and Richard Attenborough. Wow, Glenn Melvin Peacock. It was four of us sitting for dinner. Malcolm X would be good as well as Richie. Used to be in knots listening to you. Paul Greg, I thank you so much. If you scroll on to the TikTok videos, you may well be in knots again. I can tell you. I really want to buy your South African bush hat. I'll throw in a braai pack and rice. No, no rice to your dog. It goes up like petrol. Never put rice in a braai. A top man told me that. A South African top man. Uh, 58, the same as me. Is that right, Geo Dog? Wow, you might be able to get one. Or I'll float one of your old ones onto me. Save your pennies, lot. Where is the badge? Which ba Oh, the badge. The badge is on the bonnet. The badge is on the bonnet. The badge is on the bonnet. Skinny Scotty McClure. Dinky do to you. There we are. Are we sorted? Sorry. Uh, the reason I sang there is that everything seems to have to be accompanied by loud music these days. I was trying to watch a wonderful TikTok, and they put music on it, and I thought, have the confidence to let people follow your TikTok. I mean, I, I put a beautiful little video up tonight, you'll see it, 22 seconds of a view right across central Scotland. Oh, my goodness me. So there we are. Quite stunning. Have a look at it. What have we got here? Should there be a female Pope? Well, there's been one, Angela. Yes, there has indeed. So we've already had one. It didn't go down too well, though. And I'll tell you what the Vatican did after that. After the female Pope, they got a chair where you have to sit on it. The candidate for the papacy would have to sit on it and um, there was a wee hole cut in the middle and um, any kind of more, more dangly bits, shall we say, would show up. God forgive me. Yes, never get behind me at confession, guys. But there was definitely a female Pope. So there we are. Red Robin, grow up. Remember the motto, stop, don't scroll, never troll. Scotty, I was up in Glasgow the day they're filming the Hollywood movie. They've never seen anyone famous, but, well, now you're looking at one of the most famous men in the world, Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. I say to your fan, have we got enough light tonight, guys? I love your energy, sire. Metal clip, I thank you. I love yours. Red Robin, yes, Scotty is indeed the father of feminism. Hashtag foth. You know, feminism was actually introduced because the country wasn't producing enough. So they pretended, a bit like Brexit, they pretended that the people were in charge and let the women burn their bras and get up in arms and all that and then go out to work. Therefore, making a lot more money for the tax. See? And missing out on their um, family, missing out on bringing up their children, Missing out on making their man's tea. All sorts of things. 
Uh, there we are. So there's a wee in, a bit of insight for you. It's all a big con. Hello from Montrose. We love Bonnie, Bonnie Montrose. There we are. No, read the Bible. The answer is yes, absolutely. The answer's there. Absolutely. There you are. Well done, time traveler. You tell them. Scotty also hates the announcers talking over the sound of music credits. Any movie at all. Why, when you've watched a movie for an hour, an hour and a half, and there's that beautiful ambience, and up comes some half-witted announcer and shouts, don't forget there's comedy coming up at four o'clock. And you think, shut up. You're ruining the movie. I think the movie companies should say to the television companies, by all means, take our movie. But never, ever, ever do anything over the end credits. Let them play out. They're part of the movie. They contain the names of the uh, all the workers on the movie, including the actors, the director, producers. So don't touch them. That should be the rule, seriously. There we are. Scotty, the meal would be a nice beef stew with potatoes and vegetables with dumplings. Glenn Melvin Peacock, I'm packing a knapsack and on my way. That sounds pretty good. No, it'd be an honour to have the hat of the first lord of the internet. Thank you, Geodog, you're a top man. Ask him about pronouns against press marshal. He never, ever, ever, ever gets pressed. Have that into your tiny mind. Scotty McClue never, ever, ever gets pressed. Okay, so there we are. We just don't do pronouns because they're old-fashioned and they are divisive. They're all the things they're supposed to be against. Are you with me? A bit like LGBTQ instead of saying LBGTQS. Straight, you must include the straights. Uh, Scotty, a UFO appears to have descended upon your cranium. William, why would a UFO take a back road like that? Come on. Really, says Mark. Uh, Marsha, what is a pronoun, says Geodog? Scotty, while you were in Sheffield, did you try the Henderson's Relish? Glenn Melvin Peacock, I'd love to advertise Henderson's Relish. Get on to Yorkshire Television and advertise Henderson's Relish. I think I'd be superb about it. I have a huge bottle in the cupboard as we speak. After I left Sheffield, I always buy Henderson's Relish. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, fantastic. Evening, everybody. Maverick, evening. Uh, so there we go. Ah, the Campbell Tartan. Well, it's pretty much Black Watch, I would say. There we are. Uh, they mean personal pronoun, he, him, her, she. So why on earth would you ever want to know that about anybody on a TikTok live? Off to Dumfries to get a kitten. You enjoy that, Mark. Yes, a lovely wee pussy from Dumfries. The lighting is perfect, Maverick. You're very kind. Yes, says every day. Do you have a doctor degree? No. Nope. I don't have a doctor. I can remember when I was doing a bit of lecturing and I went into a department where every single one of them had doctorates except me. And I said to them, I said, um, I wondered, they said, can we help you? I said, I wondered if I could beg a tea bag. And the, uh, one of the professors said, uh, well, yes, of course. I said, I feel a bit underqualified coming into the department because I don't have a doctorate. And he said, you don't even have a tea bag. <laughs> oh, the feminism for the tax, right. So there you are, Marcia. That's where it came from, to make money for the country. And uh, it meant, of course, family life virtually falls apart. No matter what you got, I've got it. There we are, munitions made in 1916. Absolutely good one, Mark. Well done on the ball there. What were two of the illnesses that you could get from working with the munitions? 
Do tell me. Uh, so there we are. Now, what have we got? Marsha. We don't know any of these people. That's very, very racist of you. Shocking. You know, uh, you know you're, you're a disgrace coming on with that. Do you know what she's just said? She said, well, I'll let you read it yourself, guys. It's very racist. Okay, absolutely. So what you're saying is only one color are predictable. And I'll tell you another thing you're doing. You're mentioning color. How divisive are you? There we are, very divisive. Scotty, what's your personal pronouns? Marsha, we would never, ever do that. Go away with your nonsense. Labeling, you're trying to label people. Have you got live music back in Scotland? We had live music on the internet tonight. I saw it. The Lomond Dance Band. Look that up on Facebook. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, I don't want to label myself. Absolutely, Maverick. Don't label yourself. As long as we've got a handle for you, just to call you. Mark Bottle says, rumor has it, Scotty has it. Absolutely. Scotty's got it big style up here. Tremendous. Scotty, have you ever been to Evesham, the Vale of Evesham? I love it. I used to take the Evesham Road when I was going to Oxford. Does that make sense? I'd branch off and go down that route, down the, the country roads, through the Vale of Evesham. Beautiful. Sounds good. It will be gorgeous tonight. People will be sitting out drinking in a pub by the river. Ah! Scotty, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. A lovely Campbell Tartan. I love the Red Stuart. Well, the Red Stuart Maverick is the Royal Stuart. That's the one that uh, Prince Charles would wear, probably. Or maybe a hunting Stuart. Scotty, Darren from Nottingham. Hope you're having a good night, sir. Darren, lovely to have you with us from Nottingham. We are having a most outstanding night. But... I have to tell you, last night was perhaps the finest live on TikTok. Go on to YouTube and look at Friday night, Scotty McClue. Go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. You'll see the URL in front of you there. Fantastic. Scotty, thank you. A brilliant war movie, Ice Station Zebra. Now, Geodog, is it actually set during the war? Ice Station Zebra, it's one of the ice stations. And is it not more Cold War type stuff? Or am I wrong? I know you'll correct me. JD Cricket Dinky Do. Uh, we're all born in the image of God. Mark, you're 100% correct. God made man in his own image. There we are. Loch Lomond. We love it. Tell them straight, Scotty, oh, we do, time traveler. We don't put up with any nonsense on here. I can tell you. The girls working with the TNT were called Canary Girls. Geo dog, you are such a clever man. The TNT colored their hands yellow. The Canaries, absolutely, Geo dog. Very, very interesting. Is that nitroglycerin? Is TNT and nitroglycerin the same thing? There we are. The woods are very old and lovely. Yes, indeed, in Sheffield. Is the Waverley still at Loch Lomond? The Waverley was never at Loch Lomond, to my knowledge, Angela. But the maid of the loch is at Loch Lomond. And she was uh, built uh, by the same people as the Waverley, I think. E and J Ingalls at Point House on the River Clyde. And she was engineered by the same people, Rankin and Blackmore of Greenock, whose big boss was a great friend of mine. So there you have it. My old friend was responsible for putting the engines in the Waverley and the Maid of the Loch. Look them up, Rankin and Blackmore Engineers, Eagle Foundry, Greenock. There we are. Glad to see you keeping well, sir. Bring to Treppy. Mark Body, what does that even mean? We look like God or the other way around? Well, time traveler, I think you're thinking man made God on his own image. No, no, don't think so. There we are. Thank you very much. Will do. There we are. No, it was bombed in 1996. What was? What was bombed in 1996, time traveler? Have you had your? Oh, yes. 
It means whoever you are, you're God's children. We're all Jock Tamson's bairns. Jock Tamson, I think, was a Church of Scotland minister. There we are. Fantastic. Good Scottish saying. Reach for the sky. Inspired me to become a fighter pilot. JD Cricket. Can I tell you, I was very privileged to be invited to be the chieftain of the Bears Den and Milgai Highland Games, Highland Gathering, Highland Games. And they always went for a first class chieftain. Do you see why I'm so chuffed? And one of my predecessors was um, George Takai, the actor. Another one was Red Rum, the racehorse. And another one was Sir Douglas Bader. Is that not wonderful? And um, I'm going to tell you a lovely story about Douglas Bader. He was a great, a terrific character. And people were actually very jealous of him as a fighter pilot. And all the publicity he got because he'd lost his legs in an air crash, which, if I remember rightly, was his own fault. And I think it was a Gamecock he was flying in 1928 at an air display, and his wingtip touched the ground. And it just the aircraft just became matchwood. And Bader lost both his legs, but he went on to be a, a top air race in the Second World War. And um, when he was the chieftain of the Highland Games, uh, somebody came in and said, Sir Douglas, could you come and present the trophies to the band? And he said, yes, of course. Of course, dear boy. And Lady Bader said, Douglas, put your other legs on the ones with the Wellingtons. Just outstanding man. So there you go. Waterloo is Lake District. No, no, Mark Botty. Not to my knowledge. Uh, the Waverley, absolutely. The Waverley, of course, is a very famous Clyde steamer. And she replaced, she was uh, built for the London and North Eastern Railway Company, based at Craig and Doran. And they were all called after Sir Walter Scott's novels, The Genie Deans, The Madge Wildfire. The Ivanhoe, the Waverley, uh, what else had we got? The Talisman, um, what else had we got? The Madge Wildfire, the Lucy Ashton. Uh, so that sort of idea. There we are. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff, I say. Incredible. Dinky do. There we are. Who have we got here? Ross says good morning. Morning, Ross. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, correct. Uh, the movie is set during the Cold War, highlighting the tension between the then USSR and the US Geodog. Excellent stuff. Uh, I'm so glad McClue's not losing his marbles. Now, but we've got plenty more. Rankin and Blackmore, the Eagle Foundry Greenock. Not Foundary, Foundry. And uh, they were run by the great James Ferrier. Wonderful, wonderful engineer and a very nice man. Now, the London and North Eastern Railway had Waverley 1. And she was probably, I think she was maybe around 1890 or something like that. You could look it up. Anyway, she went to Dunkirk to pick up the men on the beach and the men in the water. And she got bombed. And on border was Captain John Cameron, who I remember very well, Johnny Cameron, terrific guy. He had a DSC, a Distinguished Service Cross, given to naval men. And uh, John Cameron was the captain of the Waverley, and she got bombed. Anyway, uh, he got back, and... Um, they built a new Waverley in 1947 after the Second World War. London North Eastern Railway commissioned a new Waverley. And who did they give the command to? But the wonderful Captain John Cameron. Johnny Cameron. Yes, and he wasn't a tall man. He used to just see his cap looking over the bridge. And he went on to be the um, skipper. The captain of the Queen Mary II. Amazing, which is still exists 
as does the Waverly. Thank you, dear. Hello, my friend. Hello, everybody. TNT nitrotoaline, yes, nitroglycerin, uh, beast, head on. Geo dog, what a man you are. Hearts 2, Celtic 1, full time, Scotty. So the Jambos have won over the hoops. OMG. Amazing. Now, who have we got? Good evening, Mr. McClure. Hope you're having a great show. Shugdu, we are having an outstanding show. These lives are incredible. Absolutely incredible. There we are. Uh, no heads on, sorry, typo, just H E. High explosive, yes, a geodog, you're some man. Are you actually an armorer then? Are you a munitions expert? An explosives expert? Nobody messes with these guys. Um, I hope he finds them. Low level roll went in. <clears throat> Did you ever hear of Shinty? Did I ever tell you a story which a scientist told me, Geodog? You'll be amazed at this. People that worked in an ordnance factory were going on holiday, and very often in their mid to late 50s, early 60s, some were just passing away on holiday, and people assumed it was from natural causes, until they found out that there's a stimulant for the heart in, uh, in the TNT, the nitroglycerin. And the, you know, the little red spray that you would get for acute angina. And uh, acute angina, uh, they'll put this on their tongue just to calm everything down. And the heart kind of resets. Well, what was happening? A lot of the hearts had become dependent on the stuff in the munitions. Don't know what it was. Um, and, well, I assume it was something like that. And their hearts were stopping because they didn't have the stimulus. Is that not amazing? Have a look into that one. There's a big, big story for you. Uh, did you ever hear of Shinty Shinty? What do you mean hear of it? I used to read the results for the Kamenach Cup every Saturday evening on Grampian Television in Aberdeen. Yes, things like King Yussi. Yeah, fantastic. Big shinty players. Scotty, what's your thoughts on Mel Gibson? An outstanding actor and a big Hollywood star. Love the guy. There we are, Celtic or Rangers. Uh, you would go and see them both play and then make up your mind. Have a nice grandpa's day. You have a nice great grandpa's day, Arya. Your great grandpa. There we are, or maybe great grandma. Scotty, I've been writing an article about Hinkley's Food Festival. Sadly, no McClough's pies, not even wonky pint, a vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. There we are. Wonky pint, please get sharing all this stuff around your network. It will be huge. You're a very fine journalist. Dinky Doo, how are you? Blackpool, Dinky Doo. Buck fast or lag of woolen. I think we've got a wee um, contradiction in terms. One's a wine, fortified wine, and the other is a very, very fine malt whiskey. So we'll have less of it, please, Daniel. Uh, we had one restored Spitfire. Unfortunately, I saw it hit the deck during an air show. Oh, geodog. Yes, South Africa. Now, out of interest, did the South African Air Force, I take it you had a South African Air Force, did they fly Spitfires? Because if I remember rightly, the Spitfire in some form or another was flying in service up until about 1960. Now, perhaps not with the Royal Air Force, but certainly around the world. I don't know, could the Egyptian Air Force have had Spitfires? Spitfires? Because you see, the Spitfire metamorphosed hugely. So the very early ones were much, much slower than the later ones. And I think you also had um, dual cockpits. I think the Spitfire is a two-man machine, the later ones. Uh, there we are. And they didn't all have Merlins. A lot of them had Griffins, Rolls-Royce Griffin, 
Check that one out for you. Uh, Jay Johnson, thank you very much. Say hi to James, to James Lauder. Uh, tippity tapity on the nose, tippity tapity, tapity tapity. Yes, tap, tap, tapity tap. Can you say hi to my friends James and Sophie? I think they're getting married. Free tata. Wow. Uh, yes, they flew out of Biggin. Yes. To what, uh, to what stage, JD? What sort of time? I had a friend in the RAF and he said, Scotty, what's your dream aircraft? I said, I want to be taken up in a tiger moth. He said, can you get yourself to London for half three on a Friday? I said, sadly, I can't. He was going to take me up in a tiger moth. Wow. Well, what have you been up to? Because the, the chief test pilot for de Havilland was Hubert Stanford Broad. And he tested the tiger moth, the de Havilland tiger moth. And there was also the gypsy moth and the puss moth. There we are. What about that for a bit of uh, chat? And I'll tell you who else was a tiger moth man was uh, Viscount Clydesdale, the heir to the dukedom of Hamilton. So uh, two dukes back, and they reckoned that uh, he was the man that Hess wanted to talk to about not having war in Europe. But it wasn't. It was another duke. It was actually the king's brother, they think. Scotty, I was watching your old shows on Q-Radio such. I don't know how you kept your cool or should do. What you been up to? Yes, indeed. Biggin Hill. Is Biggin Hill? Did Biggin Hill close recently? Yes, did it go on for a long time? The people who filled the phosphorus shells developed appalling lung problems. Now, dear dog, would that be the same as the match girls? They got what was called fossy jaw. Phosphorus rotted away the bone of the lower mandible. Oh, ma'am, gee. This is supposed to cheer people up. Scotty Da Vinci. I thank you. Do you like that? Joss has joined us, Josh Dolan. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do, Josh. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, our favourite numismatist. Hello, you're still too close with that camera, young man. Music monkey, you'll see a difference. There's a big desk that hopefully will get moved tomorrow. I don't have any room to move back. I'm in my bed sit. I'm no expert, sir, but I did do the EOD course and worked a lot with TNT and C4. Can I tell you, um, JD, I am an expert on the takeoff procedure for the Spitfire. And a guy came on one night and told me he was a Spitfire pilot. So I thought, right, quick test. That will soon prove if he's bluffing, if he's giving us a touch of the old BS. So I said to him, all right, uh, talk me through the takeoff procedure. He goes, well, we haven't time for that just now. I said, oh, we've got all the time in the world. And I made him talk me through the takeoff procedure. He's going, well, you, you kind of start it up. And I thought, nah, 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 nah. And he missed out something very, very important about taking off. Do you know what that might be, JD? Did you say you'd flown one? Uh, so Fantastic. Fantastic. Geo Dog, you're an amazing man. Um, I'm a Sheffield Wednesday fan. Now, Glenn, there is nothing wrong with that. Don't you be hiding your light under a bushel. Dinky do. Nitroglycerin dilates the arteries, hence used to treat cardiac conditions. So really, if they'd come to rely on it, there was a possibility that their heart could uh, there, there could have been a narrowing of the arteries. Correct, sir. The South African Air Force flew them up to 1960. Dear dog, what are you and I like? We are sources of huge knowledge. And when did the Egyptian Air Force have them to? I wonder. Because it was a friend of mine's grandfather who started the Egyptian Air Force. Tremendous. And the first flight from London to Cairo in 1929 was in a Vickers Vimy bomber. And I've been privileged enough to see a photo album 
sent from Sir Geoffrey de Havilland to this gentleman. And uh, pictures of them sitting with cloche hats on and traveling rugs having, um, you know, having a picnic in the desert. And the old Vickers Vimy in the background. I mean, priceless stuff. Priceless. And a lovely letter signed, Geoffrey de Havilland. There we are. This is the big one. My goodness, it's the big one. Supermarine Spitfires. Um, I remember the chapel at Noggin uh, had a spit and a hurricane at the entrance. Yes, indeed. Now, when you say Noggin, do you mean Biggin, J.D.? And uh, did they have them up on poles? That was a great thing at the time, because I can remember English electric lightnings at the gates of one of the RAF stations when I was a kid in the early 60s. Two English electric lightnings. There we are, fantastic. And I knew uh, uh, Air Marshal, who was actually a, a, a lightning pilot. Amazing stuff. Did the Italian Air Force have the Spitfire? I can't remember, Angela. I'm not too sure about that. Yes, does Italy have its own Air Force? I don't know. Don't forget the Hurricane and the Lancaster, also, Scotty. Beautiful machines. Well, of course, the Lancaster was Avro. The Hurricane was Hawkers. And the chairman of Hawkers, at the end, when the jump jet came out, right? I'm telling you straight. Yes, this is the... Um, the Hawker uh, Jump Jet. What was it called? The Hawker. Uh, two seconds till I get this one right. Come on. Correct me, somebody. The, the name of the Hawker Jump Jet. The Hawker. Anyway, it'll come back to me. But the chairman of Hawkers at that time. The Harrier, the Hawker Harrier jump jet. And the chairman of Hawkers at the time was Sir Thomas Sopworth. One of the original aviators of all time got his, his pilot's license in 1912. Tom Sopworth, Thomas Octave Murdoch Sopworth. Sopworth the Pup, the Sopworth Camel, and then, of course, the Hawker Hurricane. And he was a brilliant man, Tommy Sopwith. So the Lancaster was Avros, of course, which was A.V. Rowe, Sir Elliot Verdon Rowe. And uh, he pallied up, he chummed up with, uh, with Sam Saunders, the launch builders. <coughs> His family had the old swan at Stretley on the Thames. And they moved to the Isle of Wight to build boats. And A.V. Rowe came in with Sam Saunders and they became Saunders Rowe. What about that? And lately, British hovercraft. Uh, so there we are. So the Lancaster had, uh, she also had um, Merlins in her four Merlins in the Lancaster. What a piece of kit that was. Absolutely correct. White phosphorus is all around bad news. Talk drags, you must use the opposite rudder pedal. Yes, indeed. But that's not it. Yes, that's not quite it. But good one. Yes. Yes, opposite rudder pedal if you're getting dragged to the side. You bet. A, a pilot like yourself would just kind of automatically make that correction. Would you not? As the old ailerons give it, give it a bit of that. There we are. Dinky do, Scotty. A pleasant Saturday evening. Daddy 420 forever. You are an absolute top man and dinky do to you, I say. Right. Who else have we got? Dinky do. Hello to you. Yes. Uh, Big and Hill. Fantastic. I'll let you in in the secret at some point. Uh, thinking of moving to the Isle of Skye from Yorkshire. What do you think? Well, Jansky, you'll need to learn to spell it right. There's an E on the end of it. I also think you'll probably find that the property is pretty pricey because Skye is a very sought-after island. People go there and see it. I mean, have you been? Have you been? Go up now. I mean, when I tried to go to Skye, I haven't been. But when I tried to go, uh, the ferry was still on. 
We got held up having a meal. The chef must have walked out. And it was the only restaurant for miles. So we sat it out. We toughed it out. But by the time we got there, the ferry was off and we had to come back. We have the same problem with guys claiming to have been Paris when not so. We call them wannabes. Well, dear dog, it's very easy, of course, for a para to find out a non-para. There we are. Scotty, I love you so much. I thank you, Wilf. How very, very kind of you. I love your lives so much. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Dinky do. Guys, get on and follow me. Harley anybody's followed tonight. It's breaking my heart. Please follow. I shouldn't have to beg. Let's have a follow amnesty, and you can all follow me right now. What do you think about the warthog? We like the warthog, Wilf. Uh, I love the wooden wonder, the mosquito. Oh, dear dog, she was an amazing thing. And, of course, being built of wood. People like my grandfather shaping these wings, you know. Tremendous, very tough aircraft as well. Uh, I'm sure it was a mosquito that took Churchill in. Oh, no. It was a York with three tails. It was an Avro York. What about that? I think that's what they took him to Tehran in. My wife's dad was a tail gunner in a Lancaster JD. That's a very, very tough gig. A lot of these guys didn't make it. How wonderful. Is he still with us? The Hawker Harrier, that's hard. You're spot on. The jump jet, turn the thrust downwards. How genius is that? There was a lovely story that um, a, 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 a test, a would-be test pilot was being interviewed for a job at Hawkers. And Tom Sopwith was at the end of the table. And um, one of the directors said, so what? tell us what you've been doing so far. And um, he said, uh, "Well, I've been I've been flying no clubs the red half." Said, "Sorry, I didn't hear that." He said, "I've been flying aircraft for the RAF." And one of the directors looked at him and said, "What did he say?" He said, "He says he flies aircraft for the RAF." Said, well, any bloody fool can do that. What else has he done? Now, this is what's incredible because obviously, being an RAF pilot. You have my vote big style. It's not for the faint-hearted. But I love the fact that they came out with that because they were all top pilots. So they could come out with stuff like that. It's the same with academics. I, I remember a guy, three doctorates, and somebody said, well, John says, and his colleagues who had the same number but even more, said, well, John's an idiot. Oh, milk for the pussycat, I say. Was that the same family who founded the Concord? Uh, Hawkers. Who built the Concord? Was it Hawkers? Guys, somebody check who built Concord. I, don't, I can't tell you. I feel embarrassed. The Sea Harrier, absolutely. Yes, indeed. The Hawker Act, the Sea Harrier, where you see the fleet air arm had a, and you had the Sea Vixen. Yes, you had the Sea Vixen, because you had the fleet air arm. Was that, uh, oh, who have we got? You're up late, Scotty McClure. Oh, not at all, Jonathan. This is early for me. I can tell you. We'll have to go soon, though. Scotty, did you cut your beard? It looks amazing. Just a wee fresh trim out of a mark of respect for all of you guys. Guys, if you haven't followed, could you get following, please? I'll I'll shut up for a couple of minutes. Take my tea. Please just follow. I, I won't look. Please, come on, follow, follow, guys. Follow if you haven't followed. Who's following? Ma Maverick Dinky Doo. It is the rudder pedal, Scotty, not the ailerons. 
of ailerons, not the rods that connect the rudder with the pedal. Am I not correct? I still jumped out of the DC-3 Dakota in a terrible prop wash. Ooh, wow. Now tell us, dear dog, you'll have to watch stuff like that. Does the prop wash just blow you straight off course? And do they work that out when they're plotting the drop zone? And were you on a static line? I love the Dakota because she's so kind of, I love her shape. You can, you know, it's a, it's a Douglas DC-3. You know, it's a Dakota. As soon as you see it, you don't go, what, what what's that aircraft over there? Uh, so there we are, a DC-3. Wow. Fantastic. Why are you ignoring Wolfshire? I haven't ignored at all. I've thanked you a million times. Scotty, have a cracking evening. We all did. Never mind. I still love you. Thanks, Wolfshire. No, I, I mentioned you a million times. The wife's dad died years ago. Right. But he survived the war. Scotty, does Sky TV have an E? No, 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 no. Sky TV is S-K-Y, as in Upper K, the Sky. But uh, the island of Sky has an E. There we are. Good evening, Mr. McClure. The Battle of Britain proved the British and Polish pilots were tops. Oh, yes. When I hear them talk about uh, British people in the Battle of Britain, you had the lot, Canadians, Polish people, the whole lot. Good evening, Scotty Dinky News. That new bonnet you have, you fashion king, you. Never a dull moment on Scotty McClue. Tomorrow I'll be further away from the camera, guys, just to give you all a break. My dad was fleet air arm. Was he wavy navy, GD? Because my great, great friend, one of the finest teachers I've ever had, he was wavy navy fleet air arm flying swordfish off the Ark Royal. And very recently, somebody posted a picture of a swordfish flying off the Ark Royal. And I thought, I hope that's Uncle Jack. Evening, boss. I've ordered my boating blazer. Good one, Ed. Did you get it from Oxford? I remember the hawker hunter. Ah, yes, the hunter. She was a jet. She was a jet, yes. Uh, Grandad, World War I. Right, JD. Excellent. My grandfather, both of them, one's behind me. You can just see him there in his kilt off to the trenches. And then after that, he made the, uh, he built aircraft because he was wounded in the trenches. And he built aircraft uh, in Manchester. So I would imagine, I don't know who was in, it would be Stag Lane, would it? The movie Battle of Britain's brilliant, very factual, very, very good, Geodog. I had a friend was in it. So that was good, wonderful. The lovely Susanna York. And uh, did we not have Lance Olivier as uh, Lord Dowding? Fantastic. And Lee Mallory, all these amazing names. Did you see the Celtic game? No, Lewis, everybody was on here. I don't know if anybody will have seen it because they'd all be watching Scotty McClue's TikTok live. Right, I'm going to have to go. Joystick yoke is ill runs. Well, that yoke, does that not then operate also? Uh, what's that? Is that your flaps? Your flaps. And, uh, and what else? Uh, you don't see the red arrows. Well, I've seen them. Thought they were absolutely fantastic. Yes, sir, static jump, 1,000 feet. Prop wash tended to cause terrible line twists. Now, Geo Dog, do you have to kind of jigger yourself a boot, jiggle yourself a boot to try and untwist that? You know, does the chute open okay? Concord was British area space and Rolls Royce. Shout out to Darby. Yes, the designer. Dinky do, we love it, Maverick. Thank you very much for that. The BA uh, Concord. Yes, RN, Royal Navy. Fantastic. Scotty, where are you in Scotland? West Coast. Fantastic stuff. Hello, Tom. Dinky do, we've been manufacturing bake at home, vegetarian lattice, slicing a rich chicken sauce. We might do a boil in a bag. We did operational jumps from 600 feet, gave you about 15 seconds in the air. Geodog, sir, I salute you, sir. The Navy salutes you. The Special Forces, I'll stop there. We don't want to say too much. Tremendous stuff. Lovely to have you all with us. 15 years to build it. James Hamilton, Maverick, you're a genius. My great uncle was in the HMS Hood, sunk by the Bismarck. 
Well, there were only three survivors, and my mother knew one. So there we have it. Enoch Scotty, big shout out for Saul Coast, my man. Hello from very crazy Govan. Mum's side were Argyle and Southern Highlanders, World War I. No GD, Argyle, A R G Y L L. And Sutherland, H U T H E R L E N D, Highlanders, World War I, the Argyles. Family Regiment, fantastic. Have you ever had a mis just a moustache, Lord Scotty? Yes, very briefly. Take care, big man. Dinky do. I didn't want to look like a spiv. How was your day, Scott? Fantastic. Yes, sir. 60% life trace. You deployed your reserve. To your dog, you're spot on. I haven't been in your life for ages. Well, Mia, you have to be. Sutherland, that's it. The French at Concorde. And Russia, yes. They should never have stopped flying Concorde. I know there was an accident, but was it not tires or something? My great-granddad survived Second World War with his brother. Fantastic military intelligence. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, I'm going to have to dash dinky-doo to every single one of you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheery o. Follow me, like all the TikTok videos, and get on to the YouTube channel. URL's in front of you. Love you all. Thank you for my beautiful gifts. Ricey, ricey. Cheers, Scotty. And I'd love to meet your dad. Just the greatest of respect. Dear dog, you and him would have got on like a house in fire. Both big, quiet gentlemen who have seen everything and done the lot. Dinky do, my darlings. Night, night. God bless. And ta-ra, lads.